I'm talking about the LT Trail Boss. There's a ton of trucks on the market, but none of them come anywhere close to what this beast offers. Value, power, performance, styling. Let's get into the nitty gritty on what makes this truck so awesome. First, we're gonna start underneath the truck where the Trail Boss absolutely dominates the competition. I'm talking about these Rancho shocks right here. Absolutely amazing. And the travel that these things have is absolutely awesome as well. Now the key word on these Rancho shocks is dual. Yes, there are dual tubes in the shocks and that's a big change from our old school single tube shocks. Now these have more travel, they have better comfort. So when you're off-roading or you're driving like what most people do on the pavement, these things stack up to any competitor on the market. We're gonna stay under the truck for the next one and that would be this guy right here. The company Eaton makes this thing, and yes, I'm talking about the G80 locking rear differential. Ford doesn't use it, Ram doesn't use it, but we use it for what reason? Because we love our customers and we wanna make sure that they have the best experience with their truck. Oh man, anything for a video, right? Anything for a thumbnail. Oh, look how dirty I am. If this makes it in the video, you guys better thumbs it up for right now. Now, I know what you're gonna say before you even have to write the comment. Well, Ford's got a locking differential. Yes, they do have a locking differential, but it's not automatic until just recently. And it's a huge upgrade cost if you wanna get their automatic locking differential. The typical one that you see on their trucks today on the market is just the manual locking differential or the limited slip. Limited slip sucks. I've done a video on this in the past and I'll link it in the info card above, but limited slip, just like Ram has, absolutely trash and there's no reason to even have it. And with Ford's locking differential, what you have to do is number one, know that you need these two wheels to lock into place. You have to be stopped, you have to push the button and then it locks into place. With this Eaton G80 rear locking differential, it's all automatic as the name suggests. The biggest thing that happens is if this wheel or this wheel is 50 RPMs, five zero, off from the other one, it automatically locks in and it kicks in and it gauges. Now, the bad thing about this is that you'll once in a while hear some clicking noises. I get comments all about this all the time. It's like I hear there's knocking noise at my differential. That's because of the G8. There's always pros and cons to every option that's on the vehicle and that's definitely worth it. Now the interior space is really awesome in the Silverado and I only can demonstrate in a couple different ways. We can first demonstrate with these guys and see if they give the thumbs up approval about the room. What do you think girls? Is there enough room back here for both of you? You can relax, you can jump, you can bark, you can look out the windows, all of that good stuff, right? And the other way is obviously me sitting in the back of this seat. I'm six foot three. This seat is where I always drive the car. And this is amazing room. And one of the great things that Chevrolet did with this body style of truck is make this back here just more comfortable for the human rider. There's USB-A, USB-C, 12 volt outlet, and of course dual vents and cup holders that are very easily reachable. Not to mention we have cup holders right here as well. And if hauling pets and hauling people are not your thing and you wanna haul other stuff, this is where the interior space of the LT Trail Boss just comes in to be so epic. First and foremost, Chevrolet puts this in a lot of their upper level trims. You can see I got a little bit of detail spray back there. And then on the underneath the seats, very easy one hand operation that we can haul other things in here. I've got my big trailer hitch down here. I've got the little dog things that we put on the door so they don't scratch the doors up. And then we've got the all weather floor mats that are just like WeatherTech, but they are made by Chevrolet that cover this entire area, especially with those goofy dogs who like to get everything dirty in here we can simply just wash those out and the carpet underneath is absolutely protected. And of course we can't forget about the front seats. Again, we got all weather floor mats up here. We have a power seat. We have an amazing spacious interior with big areas for cup holders. We have storage in here. We have an amazing amount of storage. We got USB AC, 12 volt outlet, 120 volt outlet. We have trailer brake controller. We have all sorts of easy controls, not a huge lot of buttons like we have in our other manufacturers out there four wheel drive over here, which is all automatic. And we also have jellyfish launcher and not only just one jellyfish launcher in the LT Trail Boss, we have two. And the reason we buy a truck is for the using of the bed. I mean, this is the absolute coolest thing about the LT Trail Boss. There's so much room back here. And with that power lower tailgate, you can fit two boxer dogs back here with no problem, right girls? You fit back there perfect. But as a car salesman, I know you're like, well, you're just a fanboy and you're going to pitch the Silverado to be the best thing. But unless you use the truck like it's intended, you just never know. And to show a little bit more proof of how well 
the LT Trail Boss bed actually does. I am living proof with my own LT Trail Boss that I'm utilizing it to carry a whole lot of stuff. So you can see here that I've got chairs, I've got dollies, I've got backpacks, I've got a table, I've got a storage cabinet here. I mean, absolutely filled up and I love the tonneau cover that I put on here because if I had a different type of tonneau cover, I may not be able to put all this stuff in here. But you can see that I'm using, I'm using one over here, I'm using two there. So we're using a total of six of Chevy standard 12 tie downs, something that Ford doesn't have or Ram. And then if you need more tie downs, we actually Actually have three here three in the back and three here for a total of 21 full tie downs so when it comes to actually using the space of this truck it's absolutely phenomenal and then let's say you need mulch right a full yard of mulch fits back here completely awesome and you don't have to worry about making extra trips or getting two half yards of mulch because the bed certainly won't handle it so having those extra wide areas in here are absolutely awesome as well. And another thing that I love about the Silverado LT Trail Boss in the bed here is we don't have some goofy things like Ford does. We don't have those big carriage bolts sitting right here in the middle of the bed that get snaggling on everything you're trying to push in there. Or you're trying to scoop out mulch or gravel or anything like that. Your shovel's always going to hit it. It's so annoying. And I mentioned those uh, four tie downs that they have only in their truck. Those are screwed into an aluminum bed. So how strong those can be, I have no idea. And then Let's talk about the awesome man step that Ford invented. Wrong, they didn't invent it. We've been doing these steps in bumpers since the early 2000s. If you remember the Avalanche, we had those. And the awesome thing that I love about them is when you have a work boot, you fit in here. I have a size 15 shoe and you can see how much of it fits in there. And there's nice hand grips right here. So when you wanna get up here, it's very, very simple to get up here. And it's very, very simple to get down if you're an older person and you don't wanna just jump like I would typically at my age. And another thing that I love about our Trail Boss is the easy lower, easy up tailgate. Now, you may be thinking, well, Ford's got this too, but the biggest thing that we have is we have a torsion bar in here lowering this tailgate. It's never gonna go bad. And you're like, what's a torsion bar? Consider a garage door having those springs up there. That's a torsion bar. So this is in here. We don't have a goofy strut like Toyota does inside behind this real tail light that can go out uh, or anything else blocking this. We just have these simple wires and that's it. But man, I'll tell you what, up and easy and of course we have that power lift tailgate too now i've tried to show you everything why the lt trail boss is king of every truck on the road because we as truck owners want to use our trucks how they're intended as trucks so i've showed you everything out there well the internet thinks a little different and they think our interior sucks well gm has listened and now with the 2022 silverado coming out with this entirely updated truck how can you go wrong? The 2022 Trail Boss is gonna be the best truck on the road, hands down.